Welcome back everyone to another Bloodline video. It is your boy Steve and Ryan back at it with another one, a different one. This is a, uh, Ryan's going to be cracking some slabs of his. So Ryan, yep. go ahead and tell us uh, what you got and why you're cracking them. So, uh, first card, I have this Tyrese Halliburton uh, Fast Break Red, which I believe is out of, what is it, 85. So, um, out of 85, I picked this up a long time ago. Pretty high on Tyrese Halliburton. Um, but overall, I feel like this card centered wise and everything else about it um, looks good. There's just a little bit of either it looks like dirt or something on the surface of it down here in the corner um, that I can't figure out if it's if it's slab or on the card. Slab on the card, if it's actual ding or what. Um, so, I don't know, best case. So, basically, I'm hoping to crack it, see if I can clean it a little bit, make it a little bit better. Maybe send it off to VGS, see what they think. Maybe see if I can get an i5 or something like that. But, more or less, take the risk. Um, this card has come down quite a bit, so um, hmm. I've already, I'm already down on it. So, might as well can see, just see what Take a little gamble. Yeah, yeah, see what you can do with it. it. See what I can do. My second card I'm going to be cracking is Michael Parsons Genesis. I just recently got back. Um... Overall, I thought this card looked really good. Can't figure out what uh, problems are, if there are, um, or what they were. The reason why I got a nine. But overall, see if I can clean it up, send it to PGS, see if PGS has a different opinion yeah. about it. Um, but more or less, this card is going to be in my PC uh, for a while. Um, overall, just a beautiful card to have. So I'm willing to take the risk on it, crack it, see if it can get a better grade, go into Beckett. And then the last card is a Tyrese Maxi Orange Fluorescent. I'm still mad at you for pulling this off yeah. camera. Yeah, off camera pull. It's been two camera years. Clutch out of 25. Um, see if I, I believe there's one corner that is a little soft. Um, but overall, this card looks great. Um, again, I'm just gonna clean it up, take a risk, see if I can. These both of these basketball cards. See if I can clean them up, submit them. And hopefully get them, send them to BGS, wait, you know, the 80-something days, almost 100 days now, and see if I can get them back, see if I can get a better grade when basketball season comes around, see if um, see if it's, they just get better grades going to, uh, going to Beckett than PSA. So um, I'm, I'm hoping to see if I can clean them up, make them look a little bit nicer, see if I can do about them, and then send them off. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. So this is going to kind of be a how-to. Ryan has never cracked a slab, right? Yep. Ryan has never cracked a slab. I have cracked a couple on the channel, a few off the channel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of talk him through it. I've, I've developed and I'm still developing a process. Uh, for those of you who haven't cracked a slab, really all you'll need is flathead screwdriver and one of these uh, uh, clippers. Uh, plier, uh, not, pliers. They're, not pliers. they're definitely not pliers. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> Cable cutters. Um, Kind of, there's a name for it. Uh, I, I have this bad habit of as soon as I hit record, my my brain goes blank. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna so so the little cutters. Uh, so the best thing I found is trying to get to the corner, mm -hmm. like get as close to the corner as you can, and just cut off the smallest of pieces. And so this press down. Yeah, you have a nice little press. There you go screwdriver insert and then really just work your way around wiggle it a little bit until you start um until it starts separating and and that's a really that's really the easy way and just kind of go around the edges um and eventually you should be able to get enough in there where you can kind of pry it open and not damage the card yep which is what i'm trying not to do that's always the risk that's probably the biggest risk when cracking cards is uh making sure that you don't damage the card when pulling it out of the slab so this is always the riskiest part now here this is when i would stop using the screwdriver and then just put it flat on the table and just start slowly not the screwdriver just meant the slab gotcha. uh, but start kind of just pulling up all together See, and now that it's probably there, that's where I'll help you. I'll kind of hold it if you want to try to pick the card out with your fingers. If it's not ready yet, we can keep pulling. Okay. You got it? Just I need you to open it more. Oh. Mm. 
if you want, you can take a screwdriver to this other side and try to loosen it up because I know the way we have it is kind of wonky. See, not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely easier with the team. I'll go ahead and top load it to, or sleeve it to protect it at least for now. Yep. Uh, the back half of this video, Ryan picked up something called the Mr. Minty. I've seen these at the Dallas Card Show. It's really a cleaning kit and a prepping kit and a tool to help you um, determine, kind of get get an idea of what the best value might be for, or not the best value, but just kind of get an idea of the... Please don't break the monitor yeah. back there. I'm trying not to. Point it away from the monitor. <laughs> Point it at me. For gosh, thanks. I'd rather lose an eye. Just kidding. The monitor's not that expensive. I like, oh, but no. I do I do game on it, so please don't break my gaming monitor, too. Uh, but we do have the Mr. Minty, and we're going to kind of go over that. It's a really nice tool to help you kind of clean up your cards before submission. Uh, there's and, and a great tool to help you determine if you even want to submit the card. This one's coming a lot, a lot easier. Oh, yeah. That was cake. Yeah. And then just quick, whoop, like you're flipping a pancake. Thank you. Just take that. Do that. Yeah, the other one didn't, didn't pop as easy. Yeah, that, that right side did not seem to want to come off as easy as the left side. Yeah. This is a terrible time to have to sneeze. Point it somewhere else. Point it down. Mm. Yeah, you really take off more of the corner than I do. I don't. <laughs> I literally probably take off the screwdriver's width of the corner, so I could just that that works. <laughs> Didn't hit the monitor this time. No. So two of three of these cards are numbered, right? Yeah, just two of them. Mm -hmm. Genesis aren't numbered. Beautiful. PSA doesn't usually have a protective covering. This time, this one did. Huh. That's interesting. You want to use that card first as a, or I could top load it or sleeve it. Sorry, keep getting them confused tonight. Uh, let me just clean off. Let me clean off the surface. A lot of plastic around. A little plastic. I don't know where to go, Steve. So I guess still on the floor. It's getting uh, vacuumed in the morning, anyways. So. Uh, have to vacuum in here anytime you break something. Even when I do vacuum, I still step on a piece and I'm like, oh, this was a month ago, I vacuumed three times. <laughs> yeah. Clean up. Alright, now that we're a little a little toasty. So not too bad. Like I said, best part or the easiest part, if you can just get that corner off, wiggle a screwdriver in. Usually you could pry them off pretty easy for PSA. I found the same goes for um, some of Beckett's older slabs or BCCG. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else have I done? I haven't done, I haven't cracked a Beckett slab yet and I haven't cracked, have I cracked an SGC slab? Um, no, you no. cracked a DC. Like I said, I think it was a BCCG, which is Dallas. A, oh yes, and the Dallas Card Show slab, I've done that. That's what that was. So, so this is part of the Mr. Minty, he, he, or they have not sponsored us. I don't know who owns the company. Uh, just a product we picked up that we thought we might kind of give our two cents on if how it works and how this whole grading process goes. Yeah. So, what I've heard, which, I mean, you know, it's like I watched a video. I can't remember at the moment, but you get a lot of cool things. You get a lot of, a lot of pretty interesting stuff with it. Yeah. There's two microfiber cloths. You get microfiber. Right? You get a little magnet, little card great look great looking little. It's a magnifying glass. Yes, yeah, a magnifying glass that helps you look at the card. Thank you. You're struggling. Uh, I was struggling. I got excited. Um, but it comes with a little light so you can help look into the corners, look at and it's look at the surface and stuff like that. So twenty times magnification, just in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. Two different lights, so So when yeah. you're looking at surface, otherwise you get a card grading tool. Yeah. Um, nice centering tool with a nice chart on the back to help you kind of determine where the centering might be and and how good or bad it might be. Oh yep. my gosh, I got the sneezes right yep. So, helps you determine what you think the card can be. Excuse can me. be based off of the chart. Pretty nice. You, know, you got some card polish. You got some little cloths, Q-tips mm -hmm. that we're going to be using. And you got a little polish spray. 
or yeah. card spray. Little Clark. It looks like um like so. gl- glasses cleaner. Uh, it rec- it says on it, do not use on any autograph or memorabilia cards. It's only for the high gloss and some of these chrome cards. So yep. you want to be conscientious about that of what cards you are looking at before you use either of the um, the cleaner or the polish or anything like that. And then you do get a little buffing tool. So, so we're going to see how this goes. So, kind of, um, not really don't know what to expect, but I don't know what to expect. Uh, don't know how to use necessary to polish. Well, I'm going to find out today. And then you do get this little card. Um, oh, forgot like the little card tool. Card tool. Supposed to help with edges and rolling out getting scuffs off the sides and stuff like that so yeah i think it's supposed to be beneficial for like cards that are not frayed but just kind of have that little stuff mm-hmm. dangling off where maybe the blade on the um on the, the paper cutter was not the sharpest and it kind of it just didn't get a nice clean cut so it helped clean that up a little bit it's not trimming the edges or anything like that yeah. but i mean it's like a rubber piece so I like how we've been recording videos for a couple mm-hmm. hours, and now my allergies decide to act up. <laughs> so I'm really curious. Now, I have used those kind of, like, sponges. Um, they give a nice polish. It goes a long way. When I, when I repair, like, uh, uh, like, motherboards and stuff like that, I do use some stuff like that. Mm-hmm. the corner just buff see if you can make it a little bit cleaner be a little nicer yeah maybe some um fingerprints or just stuff that we didn't see on there before and yeah now i have seen people you know people when i say people i mean um people who have graded before and you know they say if they find trace amount of chemicals that they it will hurt the grade i've seen people say yeah they don't really look for it so just kind of throwing caution out there that you know we're experimenting here yeah so we're not insiders we're not we don't know what goes on at beckett and psa when people are looking at cards and trying to determine the grade and and if it's a 9 or a 10 or, you know, do they look for chemicals or, or fingerprints or, you know, we don't know. We're just experimenting. Yep. We are. So, we're going to look, see what we can find. Maybe it's a little bit of this corner. See if we can roll it out a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, if if there's a dinged corner, this is not going to sharpen it. It's just going to kind of pretty it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. See what we can do to it. And just overall, see if we can make it look a little bit better before sending it off. No. I don't know. If there is much a difference, I'm trying to double check, make sure I get everything, oh, and so on. So, probably sleeping it back up. Oh yeah, the sleep. But, yeah. So, overall, I think this looks pretty good, and I'm um, I'm just gonna go with it. So we're gonna do a little bit of the same thing with the next cars. I'm gonna have Steve speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit there. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna speed it up, kind of fast forward. <laughs> we're not gonna talk. I might voice over a little bit if there's any updates that might need to add to it. But yeah, so. so. We'll go ahead and do this with the other cards, and then uh, we'll get ready to wrap up the video as Ryan's going to send these off to BGS. Mm. All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed that little speed through of Ryan cleaning the other two cards. Uh, Ryan, tell us tell us what you think initially. I think, um, well, you got firsthand experience of of the product. Um, so overall, uh, I think the product is pretty easy. Pretty easy, pretty simple to use. Um, you know, it definitely takes a little bit of confidence. Make sure you're not doing anything too... Um, too harsh on your cards and you're following the right steps because the last thing you want is to not and then you mess up and then your cards are ruined um, but overall pretty simple a lot of good tools um, overall pleased with cracking this um, doing the measuring tool right before we did notice it's 4-3 uh, which means it's like 57 to 43% 
um, on the centering side. So maybe maybe on uh, Beckett or PSA, maybe thought it was too off centered. So maybe that's the reason. Another thing, the the corner that I thought had something on it, like that little speck, gone. Was, was gone. So so overall, I am, I'm excited to send this off. See what it comes back. I think realistically, I'm hoping for maybe. 9.5 or maybe I change my mind and resubmit it to PSA but at the moment it's probably going to go to Beckett just wait it out but looking like it looking at it maybe a 9.5 maybe maybe a 9 either way just be based off centering especially on the back yeah so. yeah. I, I will say one note they, uh, in fine print here it says intended use on modern and ultra modern cards with a gloss finish don't use on paper cards and base stock from 1995 and earlier uh you'll also do not want to spray directly onto the card mm -hmm, ryan, mm -hmm, ryan already mm -hmm. made that mistake once uh always practice on common and non-valuable cards that's a big one so highly recommend going and finding some of your other chrome cards and and high gloss cards that you might want to test out practice get more familiar with the product uh, i think that's solid advice and um yeah so those are some of the tips i wish i think there was a little more instructions on what to do we during that fast forward and and montage process we kind of just uh well i went on to mr minty's site and kind of got a better idea of how to you know use the polish for example and uh kind of the steps that they recommended and and i wish they kind of had that in here might be my only critique so far but yeah, overall, okay. overall good product. Let us know down below. Have you used Mr. Minty or something similar to it? Uh, we'd love to know your experience, how much it has helped your cards. If you've cracked and then used Mr. Minty and then resubmitted, let us know down below. Did those cards come back better or worse? We'd love to know. Love to get an idea. If Ryan sends these off to Beckett, I mean, we're looking at, we're in late September right now. So it would probably be early 2024, probably January, hopefully Ooh by january uh if not into february of 2024 with how yeah. slow they are but to be honest I, I don't love beckett i don't love displaying beckett i think or a psa i love beckett more um uh, and looking at some of my cards there i, I kind of like raw I'm, I'm getting away personally from the grading a little bit so mm -hmm. but yeah let us know down below in the comments what you think of this video what you think of us cracking these cards and what are the chances that they're going to come back a nine five or if ryan changes his mind how are they going to, if they're going to come back at PSA 10. So, all right, everyone, welcome back to the back half of this video. Mm -hmm. Now we recorded the first part that you just watched. Um, yeah. Like what? Three and a half months ago. And uh, yeah. And the, inten like the intention, <laughs> yeah, the intention was to release that as a separate video, but I procrastinated because I didn't feel like doing that much editing. Cause that one's requiring a lot of editing. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. So now <laughs> Ryan's cards are back and it was three and a half ish months later. Cause we said, dropped them off late September. They came back, uh, December 15th ish. So about just under three months. Uh, so yeah. So now we have the three cards. Ryan cleaned them with, I think it was Mr. Man. Yep. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Minty. So he cleaned them. He kind of, he kind of, you know, polished them up so they look nice and and pretty for BGS. And now he's going to reveal his grades for you. So yeah. Well, thank you for scaring <laughs> the heck out of me. <laughs> Notification. Stupid Adobe. Uh, yep. And uh, I'm 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 ready. I'm excited. I am also very nervous. <laughs> so. so yeah, I know the great right. Do you want to give a quick prediction before you peel them off and? Uh, and uh, you don't have to do you could do each card you know i think it's going to be a and then rip it so this was a psa 9 um i'm hoping that it's at least a 9.5 or better um that was my hope so all right let's see what you got let's see a seven no I'm kidding a nine surface killed you surface surface apparently killed you and i don't i don't surface know surface is the eight so again 10 nine five nine five and an eight mm -hmm. yeah yeah wow. and, and and i mentioned that this is the back half we have not recorded uh or i have not even watched the first part and edited so i don't remember what we said about it what we thought about it um but you, i mean it should be fresh in your head since we just um yeah it should be um wow i'm shocked by the surface i feel like I mean, everything else is good. I don't know what else on the surface is. I don't. I, I thought eight was uh, uh, atrocious. That's like. That really makes me want to break it again. <laughs> Send it, you know, somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. 
That's crazy. I don't know. It's funny because when I put the tape over, I looked at this for a good five minutes and I was like, I just don't see it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'm ho- I was hoping for better. Granted, that is a p- good PC. It's one of my PC cards. So I plan on keeping it for a while. Um, Michael Parsons, big Cowboys fan, so can't do wrong. So, but this, these, these two cards have now been, uh, both of these players have been, have just exploded. This, Tyrese Maxey and Tyrese Halliburton have been playing fantastic since the beginning of the season. Uh, Maxey's kind of taken over as the number two person um, uh, ever since uh, James Harden left and has kind of been really good for the 76ers because um, Maxey stepped up and he's he showed that he can be that number two, that oh, other good. person that can sh- average 30 points a game when Joel Embiid can get get, get you 50 games so, yeah. <laughs> that he's been on. So... I'm very happy to have these cards back. Hoping for the best. This was a 9. Hoping for something better. Um, round 9-5 uh, is my hope. Um, and what I believe. Let's we'll so, see what you got. Let's go for it. Oh, another 9. Yeah, but this one was more consistent. 9-5, nine, 9-5, five, 9-9. Nine, five, nine, nine. Mm-hmm. It's such a nice card. Um, it's a beautiful card. So yeah, out twenty five, orange fluorescent. Yeah, pulled this off camera. Yep, never forgive you for that. So <laughs> corners and surface. See, the big thing is, I knew there was one, one softish corner. Yeah, but yeah, I think it was the. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, no, I was thinking of the Halliburton. So, but. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not ideal, though. Not, yeah, not ideal. <laughs> not ideal. But, but uh, it yeah. is what it is. So, but, so, both PSA and both Beckett, both think it's a nine. Yeah. Hard, tough peel to swallow when, you know, when you get at yeah. least a nine five or a ten, it becomes a pretty big card, so. Yeah. But, but I will say this, it. you know, at least there's some consistency there, so. Yeah. Some. Some small sample size so so far i don't think mr minty has helped you too much Um, no i will say this i know in the first part i did say there was no instructions uh yeah i found them after that video it's a little sticker with the qr code that takes you to the website with the instructions of what each tool does and how to use them so Mm -hmm. i just want to correct that now before i forget (laughs) and we get into the last card so last card tyrese halliburton i know you picked this up at a card show i was there Yep. Uh, watching you negotiate for it. Yeah, I picked this up at a car show a long time ago. About a year this ago. Is, a little more than a year ago. Um, I feel like this was still when they were a rookie. Um, but, I, like, I mean, I've been high yeah, on Yeah, it might have been right right before he went over to the Pacers. Yeah, I was high on Halliburton Bay back then. Picked this up. It was a PSA 9. Um, had a little spot right here but that we were able to clean off. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the big thing was centering, but... Overall, I thought it was worth the grade. I think it looked a lot better than a nine. So, right now, I'm just hoping for anything better than a nine. So. You're tired of nines. Tired of nines. Come on, baby. Let's go. Right. Nine. You got five. one improvement. One improvement. One slight improvement. And I was like, it was so close to a perfect gem, uh, uh, a nine, nine five. five. Yeah. But it was, I think it was this corner that, that didn't, there's a little bit of fuzz just sticking off of it. Yeah. That might have ruined the nine the the quad nine fives. Mm-hmm. But next card, it's out of eighty five. Yeah. Yeah. Number three out of eighty five. So Yeah. But but at least you got a nine five. I mean Yeah, definitely it's a it's a small improvement. Don't really know what it does for value, but um overall I think I like the way they look in mm-hmm. the BGS slab, so Yeah I'd, personal preference for me i like either bgs or sgc over psa if it's gonna be a, a but, PC. but not too shabby not too uh, shabby do do i think mr minty help i don't know i don't think so uh, i think it's too small Tar- it's too small of a sample size i think it can yeah i think it for, can um you know i don't really know what happened here i don't know what, what on the surface got Got yeah. the eight, so yeah. I'm gonna rewatch the, in in post production. I'll rewatch and see if what we say. Maybe we said something. I just don't remember from three months ago. But 
yeah, so let us know what you thought of this video. Ryan cracked PSA slabs, tested out Mr. Minty. Have you used Mr. Minty? Let us know down below what you think of the product. And if you happen to watch this, uh, the guy who has who owns Mr. Minty. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know where I was going with that. But uh, welcome to our channel, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but that'll do it for this video. Uh, until next time, y'all, we'll catch, catch you later. later.